How much time do med students spend in the hospital? Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Darren and I'm a current honours student who completed my fourth year of med school at Monash University here in Melbourne, Australia. We're almost at 6,000 subscribers, so thank you guys a lot for that. It's a very impressive milestone and 6,000 people is a lot of people. I've had friends and people in the comments asking me how long placements are for medical students and so I thought I'd make a video answering that. I didn't actually know it that clearly before I went into Monash Uni, so hopefully this will shed some light for those of you who are interested in studying medicine or just curious about how long placements are for medical students. The video will be broken into three pretty short parts because how long our placements can be taken in various ways. So the first part will be about how long they are in terms of years. So how how many years of the uni course are spent doing hospital placements. The second part will be talking about how long are rotations on each placement because we move through different departments. So how long do we spend at each department of the hospital? And the final part will be probably the part that you're most anticipating, which is just how long each day do we spend on placement? Enjoy. So how much of medical school is spent in the hospital? Well, from a Monash Uni perspective, the medical course is five years and the last three years, so third year, fourth year, fifth year, are the ones where we spend almost every single day in hospital. So there may be some classes sprinkled in, which are on Zoom or at the uni, but the those three clinical years are dedicated towards us being in the hospital, going through all the departments and learning from the medical teams and the patients in the hospital. Third year is a good time to start being in the hospital. I think two years of book work and learning the basics of anatomy, physiology and pharmacology is enough and a good amount of time. But so much of being a doctor, a practicing doctor, is learning how to best communicate with patients and other healthcare workers. And you really learn that through being in the hospital, doing it yourself and seeing other people do it. And three years is a, a very solid amount of time. So most of the course is spent in hospital, which I think is very helpful. When I first stepped foot into the hospital, there was so much I didn't know and I learned so much just from being there. And we also improve our book knowledge throughout our time, our clinical time as well. So how long is each rotation? As part of medical school and being a junior doctor, we rotate around different departments. These include the emergency department, cardiology, nephrology, plastic surgery, orthopedic surgery, a lot of those specialties just to see what they're like and learn to work in those areas. And from, I'll speak from my experience. So once again, Monash Uni, the last three years, third year, fourth year, fifth year are the hospital placement years. So in third year, it depended on which hospital we were at, how long each rotation was. So at Dandenong Hospital, each rotation was five weeks. So we spent five weeks in the emergency department, we spent five weeks in the gen med department, for example. And then we also had a specialty rotation where the five weeks were split into one week of plastic surgery, one week of endocrinology, and sort of one week blocks. I thought five weeks was a pretty good amount of time to, 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 uh, to sort of build relationships with the team and also adjust to whatever rotation that was. But I know other hospitals had shorter and longer times depending on where you were. In fourth year, every student at Monash Uni has the exact same four rotations, which are general practice, women's health, children's health, and psychiatry. And they are all nine weeks each, regardless of which hospital you're at and regardless of which health system you're at. I think it's because these specialties involve large proportions of the population, and so they are mandatory, and so we spend longer amounts of time there as well. There is some rotating around within that. So nine weeks of psychiatry, I wasn't at one hospital or one department. I might have been in psychiatry where they have patients staying in the hospital. I might have been at psychiatry where patients can come into a clinic and visit. So we moved around a little bit, but nine weeks of that same specialty. And at times it felt a little bit long, especially when I was at smaller hospitals and it was a bit more repetitive over that period of time. But, you know, I understand why these specialties are nine weeks and They'll, they'll be helpful for me when I work in the future as well. Finally, fifth year or final year, which I'll be going through next year. In final year, the rotations are six weeks for everyone. And there are some rotations which are common to all students. There are some medicine ones, surgical ones, the emergency department, and there's a research unit as well. And each of those are six weeks. I haven't had this year yet, 
But I thought five weeks was fine in third year, so we'll see how six weeks goes next year. This is probably the part that you've been waiting for. So how long do medical students actually spend on placement each day? I will give you a straight answer. I will also say that it varies depending on if you have a class or not. So it, it varies. It's not a strict school day each day because sometimes we have classes and then you just leave placement to attend class. And for example, in third year, we didn't have attendance each day to be signed off. But in fourth year, we had morning attendance and afternoon attendance, which both had to be signed off. So it could vary there as well. But overall, placement averages to about six to seven hours a day. So that, that's your straight answer, six to seven hours a day. Um, there is also another factor. So whether those hours, what times they lie between, so eight to two o'clock or seven to, to one o'clock, for example, depending on what rotation you're on, because the starting time changes. And that has roughly three categories. So on medical or internal medicine departments, so cardiology, all the ologies, cardiology, nephrology, gen med, those ones usually start at about eight. So the six to seven hours starts from there. Surgery or surgical departments usually begin their day at seven. So six to seven hours from there. And for the ones that are more shift work, like the emergency department or ICU, it just depends what shift you're allocated to whatever time you start and end. Thank you guys for tuning in to today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it and found it insightful and you've learned a little bit about how long rotations are in medical school. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, enjoy your weeks and I look forward to seeing you all next time.